Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create stunning diagrams like this and like these with the help of an AI tool. And this creation is going to be completely free of charge. Okay, so you can just try it on your own depending on what you're creating and what you're interested in. All of this is done using a very simple AI tool and it is free to use, to download and share and reshare with your friends. So to access this AI tool, all you need is to scan by coming to your browser and you can just go ahead and type on Google and just type in napkin AI, which is the AI tool that we're going to use for today and hit on enter and you brought in over here, you can see napkin.ai, the visual AI for business storytelling. So you can just go ahead and click on the first option. You can see it to get visuals from your text directly. A napkin turns your text into visuals. So sharing your ideas is quick and effective. Very easy to generate. So let's get napkin for free. All right, so you're here. So you have three options to sign into napkin. You can sign in with your Google account or with an email and password, or you can just go to the homepage directly. So you can come over here. Let's say we are going to use one of my Gmail accounts to log in. So you can come over here, welcome to napkin. Let's create your first napkin. So the first thing you need to understand uh, how you plan to use napkin, select one for personal use for education student. And then you can click on next, school type, university, higher education, and then teacher, and let's say presentation. All right, so you have two options to start using napkin. The first one is by pasting your text, my own text content, or by generating text using an AI tool, okay? Using their own AI feature, we can use that to generate. So let's start from the beginning by pasting my own text, for example. So you can say paste your content here to summarize with a visual here, okay? So let's go back to our chat GPT and let's say we select this, this comparison text, and then we go back here and then let's paste it. And let's see whether this is going to generate the text for us. But then you have to give it a title. So let's say comparison uh, infographics. And then for you to generate, you can select everything. And let's select everything. Once you select, you can see this generate visual directly from here. Once you click on it, this is going to now go through the whole idea and then it's going to generate the visual for you and you can see it has given us the visual as we want it this is online learning this is in-person learning direct comparison and you'll have to see the different types of visuals that it has created from the left hand side over here so this is more colorful you can see online learning and in-person learning what are the difference and you can see the style and then this one as well or if you want this it could be better if you are interested and you can see many more of the generations that it has you can see this one or this one or this one depending on what you are actually trying to create and most of these things are editable that's the best part of this you can easily edit them so you can move on and select accordingly so let's say i kind of like this fourth one and then we can select and when you click on any of the elements you can be able to have to change them directly. So when you select on this, you have the option to regenerate this or you can change the element directly from here or you can search directly and then change. And you can change the coloration as well if you are interested in changing the coloration or you can add a custom color which is for pro users as well. And then over here, you can decide to change the shape, the rounded edge or sharp edge and then the thickness, you can change and vary it from here directly. So you can change everything from the elements to the text in here. You can select and you can change the text, you can change the alignment. You can change the coloration and so on and even the arrangement of the box you can change it however you want it okay and if you want to regenerate you can always regenerate the content so this is one way and if you like this you can as well of course come over here and download it and you can see you can export it directly you can change the aspect ratio or change the styling or change the coloration the background coloration also you can download and export directly by just clicking on this you can export in png svg ppt or pdf or however you want it with just this click and you can see now you have an infograph directly very easy and it has explained the concept you can copy it and paste it and start using it in your presentations very easily 
Now this is one way. Let's have another way. Let's generate another one in case if you want to generate another one. So let's say we copy this text. So let's say we use this timeline. All right. So let's say we use this timeline and text. And then we come back to the napkin. We can go ahead and say new napkin. And then we can, of course, have the option to draft to the AI or to import from a file or to do blank napkin. So let's say blank napkin. And then we can paste in the text and then we can add our title we can see oriental timeline infograph okay so we can just go ahead select everything and once you select everything you can now see this and this is generate visual so you can just click and within some seconds it is going to generate the visuals for you so wonderfully you can see it has created over the years in the evolution of civil engineering and this is it. You can see the evolution and the diagram that it has created. You can try other variations. You can see this one. You can see this one. These are fantastic ones that it has generated. And you can as well change the content or the elements that they are here with. Okay. So you can regenerate or you can use the ones that they have. I kind of like this one and we can use it if you're interested. And of course, you can change anything and then you can download it also if you're interested. And this is the second way to use our own text. Let me use their own AI to surprise me and generate something if you're interested in using their own AI. So you come to new napkin and then draft with AI. So you can see you can type in your content what you want to create. Or you can say the best practices for a hiring interview. Let's say we use this and then we can just go ahead and click on I generate. And this one, the AI is writing the content. You can see it has given us a title and the introduction, the main concept. You can see all the key content of the text. You can see it has given us everything that we needed. And because this one is a bit longer, so generating the diagram is going to be different. So we have to select everything by selecting and probably do control A. And now you have the generate visual by the left. You can just click and this is directly going to generate the visual in seconds. And you'll be able to see the results down here. You can see it has just given us the result. Perfect. And see the arrangement of the ideas. The concept is well displayed. And you can try this one as well if you don't want that or this one. Okay. You can see it perfectly. Okay. So depending if this is what you want. If this is not what you want, you can of course regenerate this and try other ones as well and if you like this you can just go ahead and copy it or download it and share it in your presentation so it's very easy to kind of use this and then if you have any content also you can import from a file like we've explained and then you can be able to see and use it for your own liking okay you can add images also or you can do some sketch some rough sketch to demonstrate different things Within here, you can highlight some concept and you can explain this maybe during your presentation explanation or pair about. We can add text levels. If you want to add text levels, you can easily add them directly and you can type something very easily. And then you can do Spark Sketch. If you want to add something, you can do a Spark Search. You can search for things and there's a cut. If you want to search for something also, you can search for something else. So you can see the rectangle. You can search for something and it is going to give you that particular element that you're looking for. So it's very easy to generate different kind of diagrams from mere text or prompts or text that you copy from somewhere or that you import from your own computer. So I think this does it on this simple tutorial on how to generate diagrams from text completely free of charge for you to go ahead and give it a try. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.